This video is sponsored by Squarespace. How's it going guys? Vincent here from the creative dojo.net. Welcome to another video tutorial. Today I got something really cool to show you guys and it's a free tool by the folks over at Mammo World called Squash and Stretch. Now again, this is a free tool, free Adobe After Effects extension that allows you to create really, really nice organic easing squashy overshoot animations very quickly, very easily using their kind of very, very intelligent presets. You're gonna see what I mean in a second. But basically, this is a tool that allows you to create these really nice organic animations that have been handcrafted by an animator to allow you to get these nice, similar animation movements in your own animation. It also comes with 100 free sound effects. So you can actually use these sound effects for your own projects using this tool here. Or you can use the sound effects normally in your Premiere, your Avid, your Final Cut Editor, whatever you want to use. So you can actually use the sound effects however you want, absolutely free. But it's also a free tool here. Very, very cool. Let's go ahead and get started here. So this is actually an extension. So you're gonna need to download a ZXP installer from AE Scripts, and you're gonna need to install the ZXP file onto the installer that way, like any other extension. And it will be available in the window extension menu here. Now Squash and Stretch actually comes with two versions, the free and the pro. The free pretty much has everything you need to kind of get started. The pro has more presets as well as a few extra features but the free version is still very, very functional, which is what I'm gonna show you guys today in this video. The free bundle here, you can see that we have this really nice dropping animation. They have this nice overshoot, this nice warping, the squashing and stretching, which would normally be very, very tedious to create by hand. Um, you know, artists spend a lot of time creating this by hand and to easily apply this kind of squashy, stretchy animation and deformity to your own projects very quickly, while having the ability to maintain and kind of uh, optimize it to your likings is very, very, very handy. As you can see, we have transitions that can transition between two different layers. We have different types of zooms, stuff like this. So once you find something that you like, you're gonna be able to apply it very, very quickly. So for example, I created this really quick kind of bouncy animation complete with sound using this tool in about five seconds here. So this is really quick bouncing animation here with the sound was applied in about five seconds, uh, excluding the shadows here. Um, but it's very, very cool. So let's go ahead and just, I'm gonna go ahead and delete my example here. And I just have this circle here. And let's say I wanted to apply this kind of throw animation to this circle. I'm gonna go ahead and just move the circle over a little bit. I'm gonna hit P in the keyboard and just kind of move it over. And let's say I wanted to apply that nice throw animation uh, to this circle right here. And I also want sound effects. So I'm gonna go ahead and select a few sound effects here. There's a few uh, per different animation, but for this particular third animation, there's uh, about four different sound effects. I like the, let's see, the simple. Uh, let's go in with the rubber here. Yeah, that sounds a little bit better here. So I kind of like that, um, but once you have the animation, let me turn that off for now. Once you have the animation kind of selected, um, we can actually fine tweak the parameters here. So we have the squash and stretch parameter, which will control the kind of deformity or squashy, stretchy factor of it. So if I turn it all the way down, you're gonna see that the square doesn't really morph or doesn't really uh, warp or anything like that. But if we increase it all the way up, you're gonna see that the square really deforms very, very, very squashy, very jello-y. And that's pretty cool here. Now, if you're not liking the energy or the speed of the animation, we can actually increase the oomph factor here. So if we turn all the way down, you're gonna see there's barely any kinetic energy. Things are not really moving. But if we crank the oomph all the way up to 200%, you're gonna see there's more energy, more kinetic energy, more speed. And so I'm gonna set this to about 150 as well. I kinda of like a lot of energy in these. And then here you select the timing. So for, in this particular case, um, there's only one timing option available. So end of behavior. So you're gonna select where the animation needs to end. So I'm gonna say around this point of time. And then once you hit apply, it's going to make sure that the animation here ends at this time. You can also preview how long this animation lasts by hitting this little button here. It will change your work area to the duration of the animation here. So as you can see, it's gonna start here and end here. Once we're good, select the sound effect, rubber one, select our little circle here and go ahead and hit apply. And it's gonna warn you like, hey, we need to pre-compose this layer. Um, this is gonna be fine. Go ahead and hit okay. And just like that, as you can see, it added our audio layers. 
as well as the animation here. And the cool part is this is all animatable and keyframeable. So um, we have this nice animation here very quickly, very easily, but if it doesn't really fit your needs, we can easily go in here, hit UU on the keyboard. And as you can see, it created this kind of warping stuff using the Bezier warp effect. And then the position keyframes are all here. So these are all keyframes, all handcrafted. And you know, if you want to move this ball a little bit more for, uh, to the right, we can easily just go to this keyframe here and easily just move it to the right. And now the animation goes and ends where it needs to be. Let's say we want to push this ball to the right over here as well. We can push that easily. We can decrease the height. We can do whatever we want as if they were keyframed by us. We can preview the animation. And just like that, you have this nice animation going on, uh, fully customizable um, with keyframes and such like that. You can go into the curve editor and adjust that and do whatever you want easily using the squash and stretch tool. Very, 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 very cool here. Now I wanna show you an example with text here, which is a little bit different. I'm going to delete these items here. So I have this text here. Um, so there's a few other features that you can do with text. So if you select your text, we can easily select maybe a drop and I'll leave it to default settings here and we can change it to end of behavior and you know, no sounds for now. And we'll go ahead and hit apply. It's gonna warn us that we should split the layers. Now we don't have to split. It will treat the text as one solid layer. It will pre-compose it. And when you hit the RAM preview button, you're gonna see that we have our text kind of warping, kind of looks kind of funny here um, because it's treating the whole thing as one layer and it's distorting the whole text block as a layer here. So you have the option of actually um, kind of separating the text individually. So let's go ahead and redo that and hit apply. This time we'll hit yes to split the text. It's gonna split the text, which is a very, very cool feature. And they'll pre-compose the individual ones. This may take a little while, um, but basically it's pre-composing the individual layer so that it can apply the warping animation uh, independently. So it should look a lot better now. So if we do a quick preview. You can see that looks a lot better now, but it's looking very, very static, very, very linear. We can actually stagger all this using the built-in stagger tool in squash and stretch, um, you know, kind of similar to Dojo Shifter. So we can go ahead and, uh, let's go ahead and move the last layer over a little bit because it kind of uses the last selected layer's length as the end time and then adjusts everything accordingly. So we'll select all of our layers. We want to stagger, hit stagger. We can stagger using the in points, out points, you know, random, uh, ascending, descending, very, very similar to Dojo Shifter. We'll do in points and we'll do randomness a lot. Hit okay. It's gonna stagger the layers. If we do a quick RAM preview, everything is nicely uh, staggered. You have your individual warping animations. Very cool, very quick, very easily. Now the free version has this little button here to um, split text layers into you know words, lines, and you know keywords and stuff like that. This is actually only available in the pro version. So if you click it. It's gonna tell you to upgrade to the pro version. So this button is useless in the free version, but you can actually pre-compose and crop uh, layers to their contents. So usually when you have a layer like this, this text layer right here, and you go ahead and pre-compose it, the composition is actually the same size as the original comp, and it doesn't fit to the text here. But if you go ahead and go back and we go and click the squash and stretch text layer and go pre-compose and crop to content, it's actually gonna pre-compose and trim the comp to the actual size of the object, which can be a very, very helpful, useful tool, not only with squash and stretch, but in your compositions and your projects as well. So, you know, th this tool comes with a lot of free stuff here. So the pre-compose button feature, the stagger uh, feature, um, the create parent null, you know, there's so many things, um, but this is basically the general idea of it. There are some preferences here you can control the sound effects folder. You can control whether or not the sound effects are auto shied or pre-composed as one audio layer, so on and so forth. You know, there's some tool tips options and prompts and cool stuff like this. Now the pro version is pretty cool as well. Of course you have more sound effects and you also have a lot more uh, animation presets. So we have a lot more wiggles here. Hello wiggles. We have a lot more transitions. Um, you have more out transitions and stuff like this and highlights to get people's attentions and stuff like that. So there's tons and tons of presets and you can actually buy bundles 
uh, to add and extend the features of Swatch and Stretch. So in the future, there will be a lot more different animation bundles that you can actually buy and extend uh, the feature set here. Um, you have the uh, Text Exploder tool here uh, from Memo World built in, so it's pretty cool. I also forgot in the free and the pro version, you can actually swap and uh, alternate the animation. So for example, we have, we can actually flip the animation horizontally. So now it's flipped this way. You can flip it vertically. So instead of happening from the top to bottom, it happens from the bottom to top, so on and so forth. You can rotate all the animations left, right, clockwise. You know, you can actually rotate it all around and change and customize the animation to the way you want it to look like. And again, the, uh, these buttons are also available in the free version as well. So pretty, pretty cool stuff. You also have the gallery in the free and pro version where you can actually see all the animations uh, kind of all at once here. So it's pretty cool. Um, and this is basically squash and stretch. So before we close out, I just want to go ahead and thank our sponsors over at Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. Squarespace is the all-in-one place to create a beautiful website, whether it's for your online business store portfolio. They have tons of themes to choose from, totally customizable, so you can create the website the way you want it to look like. Very awesome, very amazing support, great pricing. Best of all, you can save 10% off your order by using the promo code DOJO at checkout. So check it out over at squarespace.com slash dojo. Squarespace, the number one place to create an amazing website. So that's pretty much it, guys. That's Squash and Stretch by Memo World. This is a really cool free tool. Um, you know, there's no harm in trying it because it's absolutely free. And if you want more features, a pro version is available. So check it out over at ascripts.com. But again, my name is Vincent Wynn from the Creative Dojo, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.